Good morning. We are here. It's Tuesday. It's not cold, which is a blessing, but we're here and the homeowner on this house contacted us regarding his kitchen being very cold and his kitchen is over a four car garage as you can see here in a little bit and what's very common when we get into the 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 ceilings above the garages which is the floor in this case under the kitchen is that they're very very poorly insulated when these homes are built um the builders usually just take everything to code unless it's like a earth sense home or a doe home so the way that we're going to resolve this to the best of our ability without tearing out the ceiling and doing some more uh, intense improvements is to just drill two inch in diameter holes in each stud cavity within the garage ceiling, which again is the floor of the kitchen and just pack each hole full of cellulose insulation. Um, and then each one of those holes are gonna be five feet apart in each stud cavity. So for instance, this garage right here, we're probably gonna have about four or five rows of holes spanning under the entire kitchen area. We'll probably put, we haven't drilled the holes yet, so I don't know the depth of these cavities yet. I don't know if they're like two by 12s or whatever, but on average, we put anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds um, with, with garages this size. So we are very interested to Keep in touch with the homeowner to see how we do. Y'all have a great day. Hello again, we finally got done and with this project that we were talking about earlier and it actually went a little bit quicker than we were assuming. The void above the ceiling wasn't as large as what we were uh, anticipating. So we did a lot of holes. We wanna make sure that we got the entire area so we actually drilled a little bit more because the framing was a little unique. Um, to, to, to the home a little bit. So we wanted to make sure that we got under the entire area. Um, over the main area, we did four rows, five feet apart. And then on the ends, we came in 30 inches. So for instance, we came off of the garage side of the wall, the, the, the garage door, 30 inches, and then five feet all the way down. And then there was this little irregular area right here where they had to drop it down for some plumbing pipes and ducts. Um, this was the area that had the largest void um, and we just went one row down the middle and we were able to fill up the entire cavity with that. But the amount of insulation that we were able to, to pump into the ceiling was right at, I think, 800 pounds, maybe a little bit less. So uh, you can just, yeah. an area like this, filling up a void of cold air with cellulose insulation, 800 pounds worth. We are very, very optimistic with, with the improvement that we've done to this home. Catch us next time.